Well, depending on when you do this September video and what things are going on, sometimes it feels like a summer garden, sometimes it feels like a fall garden, which makes sense because depending on when you shoot it, it could either be summer or fall. Well, today it is definitely a fall feeling garden. Uh, there's a chill in the air. Um, and so uh, fall actually came earlier in the week, so we are officially into fall. And uh, the garden is, is just looking much more like a fall garden than a summer garden. But there's still a lot going on. So we'll start where we always start, with chives. And uh, they are just doing fine. Um, I often forget to harvest them or use them just because I, there's, I'm so used to them being there that I don't think about them when I'm harvesting other things. We're still getting summer squash even though they're looking much more tired these days. You can see a, um, a, a yellow squash down in there and here's some uh, sunbursts and uh, we pulled some other squash also. And look, the surprise of the season. We thought we lost all our pumpkins. Well, this one decided that it was going to um, actually grow and I think it's it's not very big but it's it's healthy and although the surrounding plant doesn't look too wonderful uh, I think we're gonna get one pumpkin which is better than I thought we we're gonna get meanwhile the um, pole beans these guys the red noodle yard longs have been just going great all summer long as have these uh, green beans these um, Fordex is what they're called and they've just been producing heavily and producing all summer long. I'm really happy with both those varieties. Um, we'll get them right up until frost, it looks like. And look at our lima beans. These are nice lima beans. They're getting close to ready. When they, when they start to turn just a little bit yellow and get a little speckly, um, that's when uh, I think the beans are perfect inside. Um, you can also wait till they dry out completely and have them as dried lima beans, but uh, I prefer them when they're young and tender. Um, and look at our Brussels sprouts coming along very nicely. We haven't harvested any yet, um, but they say that Brussels sprouts are really best after the first frost. We are getting some that are almost harvestable size though. You can see those are pretty nice ones there. And our one had a cabbage that we still have uh, sitting out here just because he's small but still looking uh, quite healthy. It'll store in the refrigerator once we're done. Um, Molly's looking over the peas or what was supposed to be the peas but the peas never happened. I think something a bunny got to them and just uh, kind of nipped them off at the surface level and they never went anywhere. Meanwhile these peppers though these are our leftover peppers. I'm having a hard time finding one. There's one. But they're uh, doing very well out here in their little cages. Look at all those. Um, we can harvest some of those at any time. And our second planting of broccoli. Uh, looking very healthy. The spinach, uh, not looking as great, but coming along. And uh, this cabbage, also looking very nice. And uh, they'll go well past the frost, so um, we should get a nice crop out of those guys. Meanwhile, over here where the potatoes used to be, um, and the onions used to be, we've got some carrots coming in, and uh, those uh, golden um, beets, as well as some red beets. And uh, they're all looking pretty good. Um, all the potatoes have been harvested. Got uh, lots of good potatoes this year. And uh, over here, in the tomato area, uh, they're pretty much done, as you can see, pretty dried out. We're still getting a few, uh, but uh, they're pretty few and far between now. And uh, look at that, we got one more pink beauty hanging out there. But uh, they won't be much longer for this world. Um, these peppers and the, the, the uh, main pepper area are also coming in still just doing fine they'll do good up until the first frost um, we'll do a massive harvest before the frost is predicted and eggplants are also 
still doing fine. We're getting some new little ones that uh, we probably won't see to maturity, but they're still coming along. The okra is uh, on its last legs, still producing a few pods here and there. In fact, uh, here's a bloom, so you can still see that they're they're around. But, uh, they definitely slow down once the weather starts getting cold. But uh, look at our sweet potato patch. It is magnificent, and uh, that just stays until the first before the first frost is when we. Uh, dig up the sweet potatoes and see what we got. So that'll be fun. They're looking very healthy though. Very nice Hopefully we won't get too much rodent damage Meanwhile that used to be corn and that used to be corn too uh, Did pretty well with the corn though. I've had better seasons and uh, this is the last of the corn um, We might get a few ears there um, but uh, we staggered the planting so much this year that uh, we're getting corn in late September so that's not that's not too bad because usually by the time September rolls around I'm already lamenting the fact that there's no more corn uh, these ears are small and and uh, they were kind of you know fell over and clumped together so I don't know uh, if we'll get very much but but uh, they're still coming in we should get a little bit more uh, meanwhile we plowed under the buckwheat and this is some more buckwheat that's just come up on its own and uh, so that bed is uh, obviously vacant and uh, the pumpkin patch out there the crater pumpkin patch is also vacant we won't go out to the orchard but um, what I'll do is uh, I'll take you on a little quick virtual tour of the orchard because I want to show you these apples take a look at these now there are just dozens and dozens of apples on this tree and uh, I probably should have thinned them out, see how they're all clumped together like that? You know, just like six, seven, eight clumped together. But um, I just let them go, and um, most of them look pretty good. So uh, come October, we'll be uh, getting out of, I think I can actually use a bushel basket for the first time to, uh, to harvest the, the apples. We also got a, a great um, uh, uh, harvest of pears this year. Um, the little pear tree did fine. Um, I got to most of them before the, the deer did because they kind of like pears too. And um, storing them in the refrigerator and, uh, you know, pull a few out, let them ripen up, and they are delicious. So um, we got a few peaches, but with peaches, if you don't watch them every day, you can lose them because uh, they get ripe and they fall off the tree just like that. So we got a few, but not a whole lot. But uh, pears are very good and uh, and of course the apples are going to be good too. And uh, uh, that's just about it for the September garden video. Uh, I don't even see where the dachshunds are. Oh, there's Molly. What's she up to? What you looking at, Mom? Finding something in the rocks there? That's unusual. Oh, and I hear Jessie. She's corn hunting. Oh, look at this. What you, what you got, Jess? What you got? You got your corn, you find a corn? Okay, good for you. Enjoy. Yeah, most of the, the corn that's left is probably dog corn anyway. But uh, she does love her corn. And uh, Molly does too. Molly prefers to have the the um, corn cob after Jesse's done with it, so that works out pretty well. Anyway, <clears throat> that is gonna do it for us. Um, uh, September 2009, Marvin Gardens, just a lovely fall evening, a little chill in the air, you can really tell fall's coming, but uh, we still got quite a bit going on in the garden, and, uh, well, oh, look at that, yeah, that's a little better, and um, uh, we will have quite a bit going on well into October, when we expect our first frost, and then We've got plenty of things that'll be coming in beyond the first frost too, so uh, still lots more harvesting and gardening ahead. So um, we'll see you next time in October 2009, Mob and Gardens. Bye y'all.